Okay, so this is the part two on um, conversion from um, for Firman H zero seven five five two dual fuel generator. It has gasoline and um, propane, which doesn't help at all. So I want to get it uh, to natural gas. Anyways, the problem was after all the conversion, um, the air filter would be underway. So. I did something. So there's a few things you could do. Uh, you could either cut this bar from here and actually extend it, come up, come up like this, go this way and then go down like that. Uh, you could um, bend all of this right here, bend it up if you wanted to. I didn't like all of those things. Um, I saw there is actually space right here on the side. Let's see. See where um, there is a starter right here. I'm under the engine, by the way. This is you should never do this. Um, I disconnected the battery completely, took it out because I don't know what's gonna happen if it's backwards like this. I actually drain all the oil because I don't want anything in the head. Get um, you know the head part of the engine. So. I came up with a way. So this is where the engine is mounted. Um, first, I removed, do you remember I put an extension right here behind um, the uh, air filter? This extension right here, I removed that completely so that the engine could move because this bracket is connected to the engine. Then I removed um, these nuts from the bottom of the bracket where this right here is mounted is it's called the mounting I believe um, so it used to be in this hole and in this hole and there is something on the back of it right here that actually would um, clamp in right here so basically this was going in here and then this was going in here so what I want to do now and I'll oh, Yes, by the way, uh, this is the back side. The back side I only made it a little bit loose. It's actually not off. I don't want the whole engine to fall down. Um, I want to just move the whole thing a little bit this way because that's going to take care of the problem. And if you look here, the um, muffler is um, kind of attached to the whole engine, but it has a lot of space here. So it's okay if you want to move it this way or the other way. Anyways, right now this is loose. This is out. And look here, let me get my flashlight. This is the screw right here goes to the left hole and the hook right there goes to the right hole. But I moved this so that the screw would go to the right hole. So basically I have to make another hole right here by an inch or so. And then same thing on this side. So. Um, the hook is going to go to this hole, so I have to make another hole right here. Once I do this, I should be able to actually put it down, and uh, there is a lot of space. I mean, I'm going to lower it down a little bit. It's going to, it's going to work out, hopefully. By the way, uh, another thing I could have done is to cut from here. Uh, maybe that would have worked. I'm not sure, because on this side, it was really tight. It wouldn't go in, and that side was kind of okay. And look, now I can put the screw back on, on this side. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot. All right, let's put it this way. Um, this was already going from here to here. Um, on the video, they give you a couple of extension, uh, which are these things right here. It comes with it. You could actually use that in order to... Um, um, extend the whole thing here but this had enough um, pipe inside so actually i don't know if you can see the groove right here this groove used to be here so what i did is i moved um, the spark plug um, wire out of the way and this stayed the way it was and this side um, i just um, put it out a little bit and it's enough space 
and uh, I think this was on the way as well, so I moved that away too. This was um, on top of this here. So this pipe was on top of this pipe, so I put it under. So it's easy. It comes out from here easily. Let's see. It's easy to come out, so you can move those things around. Um, you could put um, something like this around it, but it didn't have it to begin with, so I didn't even care to do so. So anyways, your decision. All right, so um, I did the holes. So on this side, um, we are pretty much using um, here. The left hole was where um, the screw was going. And the right hole was where the hook was going. I made another right hole right here. So the screw is going to go into this one, the middle one right there. And then the hook is going to go to that one. Um, I used, let's see. Um, one quarter, I don't know, here, here you go. One quarter for the hook, and I used um, three eight, which is this one right here for the screw. And that should be enough. Um, however, on this side, things got a little bit crooked. I'm not sure exactly why, but um, it was crooked to begin with. Um, before this was under here this was kind of looser so um i guess it's a manufacturer problem i don't know um just a hint before you do that um before you put holes in it so you gotta make sure this is somewhat after you pull this the screws out right here the way it is right now you gotta make sure that these are somewhat hand tight um, maybe a little bit tighter than that because you don't want the whole thing to be crooked um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, put that in so here this one the new hole to the to the right is going to be for the screw for the bolt I should say and then the crooked one right there right there is gonna be for the hook um, not sure why exactly but um, it's possible the whole thing moved a little bit I mean this thing may be actually loose so maybe not anyways it's gonna work out okay I'm done um, so uh, correction the holes here the whole size for both the hook and for the bolt is uh, let's see is 3 8 so use 3 8 for both of them um, it's kind of lined up I had to this one I had to actually go ahead and um, make it a little bit uh, push it a little bit to the left it was a little bit crooked uh, the metal is soft it's easy to do so this one uh, came in a little bit too close to the hole but it's stable uh, not a big deal it's gonna hold and it has four of this so we, I use um, 12 millimeter to do so um, on this side it looks good too all right um, so I went ahead and tightened those on top now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those on the bottom as well remember we left it a little bit loose not too loose like almost um, hand tied loose kind of thing uh, because I didn't want it to stand crooked if it did stand crooked uh, I would make everything else stand crooked here um, then I'm gonna see if I can do something about this um, we'll see about that okay I made everything really tight and as far as this, um, it doesn't really work that way. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it out. What you could do is, um, this comes with the kit. And remember, we did not use it because we didn't have enough uh, pipe. You could actually cut it and put it right here in between, right there. So cut it, this much of it, and put it right there. Um, it's gonna vibrate, it's gonna fall off, so I'm gonna take this out, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really need to be um, tied into that because the top part, remember, this is tied into the carburetor which is tied into this whole engine and so that's also tied into the engine, so we should be good, I'm just gonna take that out and now I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the other two screws, I mean uh, nuts back in because before I couldn't put them in and uh, put my air filter and the cap and it's gonna be okay after that by the way um, air filter you could actually um, get either a new one if it's really dirty uh, mine is really good shape again I, I cleaned up uh, with soap or the dish soap 
and it's fine but if you need to do that there's also um uh, what's it called uh, filter cleaner you can get from AutoZone all right we're almost done um this screws right here make sure you don't over tighten this is just uh in the plastic melted plastic uh so it's gonna be messed up so we're gonna put everything back the same way we found it let's see oh, no problem whatsoever look at that there we go Thing goes in the right way if I do it right there you go all right we got it all right no problem anymore we are actually good so far all right the only thing I see wrong with this picture is um, this whole wiring is a little bit too close it's not really touching anything um that nut right there right here it's kind of um close but it's not too close i may actually um go ahead and open this side up and then move it everything else up it's not that bad Okay, so I open the screw here, here, and uh, this screw right here. Once you move this, this whole thing moves. Uh, not much because there is a, um, what's it called, a regulator for the propane is there. So I hope you can see this. Um, uh, if you can see this, probably not. Okay, there you go. Um, do you see all of that? Let's see if I can sorry if I can actually move the whole thing up. Alright, so I'm just gonna move this whole thing right there. Alright. I hope you can see this. I moved everything away. And you see that knot right there? That's uh, that's the problem. That was a problem before. It was touching the white uh, wire, and now it's not. Everything is away, so we're good.